Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course and this is week number six. And just a quick reminder is all of the tutorials will be posted online at the website which is www.10minutetrain.com. So thanks for joining and thanks for watching. I'm going to jump right in here into week number six material. And week number six material is um, we're going to do charts. We're going to do a bar chart example, a line chart example. We're going to do a pie chart. Um, we're going to do a Gantt chart. That'll, that'll be part number two, I think. And then we're going to talk about drawing um, and uh, inserting uh, clip art into Excel and using smart art and things like that. So with that said, I'm going to jump right in here. And the first thing I'm going to do, uh, do, do is I think I'll create a bar chart. So what I want to do here is I want to grab the users, the employee's last name, and grab their quarter one through quarter four sales. So how I do that, I just highlight that data the mouse, drag it down, select that area. I'm just going to choose their last name. And then I go into insert and I go to over here to my charts and I'm going to start with a column chart and you can see there's lots of different options. I'm going to go ahead and just choose the um, 2D clustered column. You can see it pops the chart right up with our data. You've got a legend over here. A um, couple quick things that you want to do here or options is you can change the border, you can change where this is, you can change the layout of, of the chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple quick things. When you highlight the chart you'll see that the chart tools button comes up here. So anytime it's not there just go ahead and click up, click on the chart and it should pop back up. And then um, and then you can go into lots of sub options underneath there. So for example if you wanted to change it to a different style or layout, you could click right here. You could change it. Um, so you can experiment with those. You can go in here, you can change the data, you can change the style. So I can go over here and change it like that. I'm going to go ahead and just change it back to that default one. And then what I can do is I can go into layout and I can go into, like for example, I can go into chart title and you can put the title in you know, lots of different places. I'm going to do above chart and I'm going to call it, I'm going to highlight it and say sales totals. All right, and then I'm going to go over here and under layout, you can do lots of different things here. Like I can go over here to access titles if I want to and I can put um, uh, for the horizontal axis, I'll do title below access. Right, and then I can put a title down here and I can put down um, sales team, sales team members. Right? Or I could or I could get rid of that. You know, so I just wanted to share with you and show you some options. And over here you could put, you know, a, a title over here for the access titles. We did the horizontal, we could do vertical and do the same thing. Um, for the legend, um, right now you've got to show legend at right, you could show it at the top right here you could um, show it I'm going to go back to the right I'm going to leave it as is and then um, the other thing you can do is you can go in over here and you can change the data labels um, you can do lots of that so we'll, we'll experiment a little bit in the in the other ones in the other charts also uh, what else do I want to share with you you can also go under the um, format option here and you can change the um, you can change the the style of it here you can see it's changing as I hover over these word art styles and you can choose from these defaults or you can go in and do things on your own um, you can go ahead and change you know any of these parameters here so go ahead and play with that and experiment with it and here's some other examples you can go down here and change this to get different back fills and so forth I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it like that um, the other thing you can do by the way is any of these things that you go into you can just right click on the chart and go into format chart area and then you can go ahead and, and experiment with border color, border styles and so forth. So go ahead and experiment with that. So that's an example of a bar chart. Now what I might want to do is I might want to do a line chart and I might want to take the salespeople and their total sales rather than their quarterly sales. So now I can go over here, I can highlight this row for the salespeople and then I can hold down the control key and now I can go over here and choose the total sales column and just choose those two and now I go back and I can say insert and I'll do a line chart and I'll do a 
there's lines with markers, lines without them. So I'll do the I'll do the one with markers initially. All right, I'm going to move that down there. So I can do the same thing here. I can go over here and I can I can highlight that. I can get rid of that. Um, I can go over here and I can I can um, modify the title if I want to. I can put down um, I can say end of year sales. Another thing I can do over here is let's say that our target was higher than two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So what I can do, let me close out of that for a second. Let me highlight this again. So I'm going to highlight that axis over there. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to choose format axis. And you can see over here it did these defaults. Um, it did the the auto um, configuration here from zero to two hundred fifty thousand. But let's assume it was three hundred thousand your target. Uh, so, or it was two hundred fifty thousand. So you wanted to make it a make sure people knew that, hey, you know they're not they're not meeting their objectives. So you may, might want to make the maximum. You can change it from auto to fixed, and I can go over here and I can change that to three hundred fifty thousand. And I can click close, and there you see now the chart changed. So now they can see, okay, hey, I'm not near the top of the chart. Um, so you can experiment with that. You can add lots of options here. So now what I'm going to do, oh, by the way, so you can highlight these charts if you want to and go ahead and highlight it, right click it and say copy, and you can go into Word if you want to and just paste it in Word and there you have it. So I'm just going to back that out. I just want to demo that. So now I'm going to jump over here and show you a pie chart example. So what I did here is this is an example of a restaurant survey. So we had all these people take the survey, and this is how they rated it. They rated, you know, some rated terrible, fair, okay, you know, anywhere from terrible to excellent. So what we can do is we can highlight that, highlight that data, and I can go under insert, and I can do pie, and I can click, um, I'll do a 2D pie. And then we go over here, and now I can do a couple different things here. I can go in over here. I can change the title uh, from survey counts to uh, um, survey feedback, let's say. And I can go over here and I can say, um, actually let me change it to say from respondents. What's out of that? Thank you. So what I can do over here, I can highlight the pie chart itself, I can go to layout, and I can go to data labels. And what I can do here is I can change it to a different option. Like right now they're turned off, but now I can say, let's say outside end. And that'll tell you how many people um, responded within that category. So 13 said it was good, 3 said it was um, terrible, 3 um, and so forth. So with that said, uh, what I want to do over here, I want to go back in there, data labels, and I want to go to more data label options, and then I can go over here, and I can change this to say percentage rather than the value, and then uncheck value, and then I can say, and then I can do label position, and we have outside end, but we want to do, let's say inside end, so we can do that and click close and there you have it. So now it's a little little easier to read. You got your percentages for each um, survey respondent. Anyways, um, that's what I want to share with you in part one and I'll be back soon with part two which will be a Gantt chart. Thanks for joining.